Mama, I didn't know you you was a star. I said, yeah, I had my days. <laughs> the first woman to score an Olympic basket, the first woman to be selected for a men's professional basketball team in the United States, and the first black woman to be recognised in the US Basketball Hall of Fame. So you've got to ask yourself the question, why have I never heard of her until now? The Queen of Basketball has won an Oscar nomination for Best Short Documentary. The doc's been on YouTube a few months now and thousands of you have been liking, sharing, commenting. So I thought I'd gather just some of those comments so we can do a like mini film review together and hear from the Queen herself, Lucy, along the way. Next to the last, Lucia May Harris. Lucy. She defines living legend. It all started in South Mississippi, where she grew up in a family of 11. Her parents were sharecroppers, which means they earned a living from picking cotton. So Lucy tells us in the documentary that the family didn't necessarily have much, but they did have basketball hoop and a TV where Lucy could sit and watch the men's basketball league. A lot of you guys seem to agree on this, that what makes the documentary so powerful is that it's just Lucy. It's Lucy's story told through Lucy's words. So wonderful to hear from the actual person who made history. Lucy talks us through learning to play basketball at high school and then for the Delta State University women's team, where she was their on-court weapon in the inter-college league. And then came a silver medal at the 1976 Olympics in Canada, the first Olympics to ever have a women's basketball competition. Yeah, which is pretty cool in itself, but the fact that she did that after becoming the first woman to ever score an Olympic basket in the first ever women's basketball game at the Olympics is, yeah, it's even cooler. Now, that's a record that never be broken. I think I speak for all basketball players when I say she had to be a beast for the NBA to draft her to play amongst men. Yeah, she was the first and only woman to ever be drafted into the NBA. Today, the men's NBA is like the biggest basketball league in the world. They've got over 65 million followers on their Insta account. I appreciate back in the 1970s, Insta wasn't around, but the NBA was still a big deal. And one of the teams, New Orleans Jazz, asked Lucy to sign up, but she turned it down. Competing against a woman, yes. It's a different story competing against a man. The other reason why Lucy turned down the NBA was that she wanted to star family. And it's clear throughout the documentary how much family meant to her. So it felt just right that the documentary ended with her family. The ending's great. Just a quiet time at a home watching her granddaughter put the ball in a hoop just like her. I think that's a life goal pretty much everyone wants. Lucy very sadly passed away in January this year but her legacy lives on in the Basketball Hall of Fame in the United States. Some of you were sharing in the comments that you think Lucy's story needs even more recognition, for example, by the Women's League having an award in Lucy's name. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out and let me know what you think, I'd love to hear.